Hey Taurus, what's up? How's it going? What's going on? Taurus tribe. Woohoo! You guys, whoa, holy schmoly, just lost all my cards. You guys ready to throw down a serious tarot card reading for Taurus? Let's see what the heck is going on with you guys. I've been feeling funny lately. Can't sleep very good. Just feel a sense of um, impending. Something's impending that can just feel it. Second time this card has tried to come out. I can just feel it. Feel it, feel it, feel it. So we're going to do a throw down for Taurus. We're going to see what these cards want us all to know. All right. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it. And I'm going to sew together a story. If that clarification process gets too long or too in-depth, I will fast forward that portion of the video and we'll pick up right where we leave off. All right. So y'all come on in, snuggle up. Pull up a chair, put your feet up, get you a blanket, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Put the earbuds in if you need to, throw it up on the big screen, and let's throw down for Taurus. Let's see what the cards have to say. Whoa, let's see what just flew across my floor right here. Let's see. Ooh, balance. Nice. All right. Spirit. <laughs> Destiny trying to come out here. All right. Spirit. Source universal energy i have the collective of taurus with me spirit and taurus wants to know what you know what do you know about the taurus and what does the taurus need to know about themselves their lives and their futures spirit what's coming towards taurus what does taurus need to look out for what does taurus need to look forward to and most importantly how do they navigate the coming situations dang it and of how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good spirit i'm going to cut the cards three times i'm going to pull it straight from the top please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear all right let's go one two three two and three bottom of the deck foundations and achievements with the four of wands now these cards are meant to be read upright so the root cards will be upright and the clarifying cards will be however it is they want to be all right victory and success with the six of wands to truth interesting judgment uh the judgment card Ooh, transformation with death and the lovers with the six of trump harmony triumphant success oh you know what i told you all i was going to lay out uh, 15 cards i can't with these cards because they're bigger i forgot about that so i'm going to lay out three rows of four triumphant success with the ace of swords material harvest with the nine of pentacles material and spiritual prosperity with the six of pentacles recognition and reward with the three of pentacles rejoicing and celebration with the three of cups emotional withdrawal with the eight of cups patience with uh trump 14 to the conflict and defeat with the five of swords prosperity begins with the ace of pentacles spiritual union with the two of cups and then deception and envy with the seven of swords the universe one cycle closing a new cycle beginning power and strength all right anything super important coming up here okay i think we're all just repeating all right let's make some sense out of all this what does this mean what does this mean Victory, progress, and success with the Six of Wands, followed by judgment with truth. Three of Swords in reverse, talking about forgiveness, understanding, acceptance, the Emperor, and the Page of Swords. There is some kind of message coming towards you. The truth of judgment is what you need to come to is the Four of Cups and the Two of Cups in reverse. Okay. Understood. 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 Transformation. This is the death card, right? Look at that. The lovers and the Two of Wands. Wow. To the Six 
of Trump, which is the lovers also. Interesting. You guys, please remember that this is a general reading. And just because you want this to be your story doesn't necessarily mean it is your story. The only way to know your true story is to have your own cards read. All right, Taurus. This is what's going on right here, okay? This is what's going on. So we open up with the Six of Wands, right? Victory, progress, success, followed by judgment, truth, okay? So there's some success, some success because some truth comes out that leads to a massive transformation in some kind of really, really significant relationship of yours, okay? So victory, progress, success, truth, transformation, and um, harmony in some kind of significant relationship, all right? What is uh, the root of all of this? Well, it's the Three of Swords in reverse. There is a message with the Page of Swords from this, this emperor right here about forgiveness and understanding. Truth is spoken. This emperor speaks their truth Four of Cups, and it makes you have to contemplate, reevaluate, and reconsider some things to the Two of Cups in reverse because this didn't work with this person before. Spoiler alert, someone from your past, okay? Someone from your past. The Emperor is in Aries, just saying. However, truth is, is Libra, right? So whatever, okay? But someone is coming back from your past and they're bringing you a message of forgiveness, healing, and understanding, okay? And you're going to have to contemplate and reevaluate what this, what this all means. Transformation with the death card, energy, Scorpio energy, okay? Transformation, an absolute transformation, your future, uh, your future to the lovers. There is a transformation of this relationship, a massive, massive transformation of this relationship. Someone is coming back to you from the past more grown than they were when they left. The lovers, again, second time, lovers, lovers, right? Harmony to the six of swords in reverse. What's the problem though? You're still, you have mental baggage, right? About what? The Six of Pentacles. About giving, receiving, sharing in life with this person. About putting your sense of well-being in this person's reach. Because I do believe the past relationship was unrequited or unequal somehow, some way. I think maybe you had more feelings for this person than this person had for you. Possibly vice versa but it didn't work out, but now this person is coming back more grown in their way, and they are speaking some serious truth to you about being together, um, like being together, maybe even living together, maybe even just like going like all in, right? All in. Shows up and it, and professes their love for you, and it's like all or nothing, but you have to you're taken aback by this and you find yourself really, really having to consider what's being told to you. Triumphant success, truth, again, coming to some kind of logic, clarity, understanding. The queen of swords, some more kind of truth. And the three of cups, celebrating, reuniting, getting together and talking about things. So what this says is that you agree, right? You, you're, you're going to Allow this truth to be spoken or speak your own truth. Queen of Swords, you're going to watch yourself, though. You're going to watch him. You're going to watch yourself to the Three of Cups, and you agree to get together and meet with this person. Material Harvest with the Nine of Pentacles. What's the problem here? Well, it's your independence, your self sufficiency to the moon. This is something that you're really, really, really going to have to reconsider because this transformation, the lovers here twice, the emperor, this whole freaking reading, Taurus, is about reconciling with someone from your past in a very, very successful way. All right? The Six of Pentacles, again, material and spiritual prosperity. I think your person has some money. <laughs> I do. I, I do. I think your person has some money or maybe you have some money, right? Either way, 
your independence is kind of a thing or your autonomy maybe and the material and spiritual prosperity aspect of it is do you want to share in your sense of well-being do you want to share your world with this person right page of pentacles there's an opportunity to manifest something brand new here seven of swords but in your mind you're stuck in the some kind of real or perceived betrayal or deception from the past okay i asked if this betrayal and this deception was perceived or reality and the seven of cups came out and that says it's perceived right it's 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 perceived betrayal and deception because of what happened back here okay the hierophant but they want commitment with you they do they want commitment with you they do three of pentacles teamwork collaboration the eight of wands let's go let's do it let's go 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 let's do it let's do it three of cups how soon can we meet when can i see you when can i see you to the king of pentacles this person wants to completely and totally step up to the plate the eight of cups emotional disappointment from the past though right five of swords this emotional disappointment from the past you're holding on to in your mind with a white knuckle grip and you're like i am never gonna let you get another one over on me motherfucker that ain't that just ain't happening uh it's just not happening i don't care how much you've changed i don't care how much all i just cannot let go of the past judgment you have to make a conscious cognitive decision as to whether you want to engage in this or not king of swords and make some very very serious decisions um, about your future and quite frankly this relationship and quickly my heart's beating fast right there is an urgency here i think this person is going to come back spill their guts say some some profound truth and want to immediately get together like immediately get together interesting temperance right patience temper yourself temper yourself taurus knight of wands in reverse don't go taking any actions just yet ace of swords until you get some more information okay till you get some more information and i'm going to read these cards two ways till you get some more information ten of pentacles about what kind of financial situation they're in and the page of wands what direction it is that they want to take their life the magician and what the hell it is that they're manifesting where do they want to go what are they doing how are they going about living their life there are some some important things that need to be addressed here very important things right instead of just getting all caught up in in the moment and this awesomeness of whatever this is right here instead of getting all caught up in this take a step back take a breath don't make any hasty decisions pull yourself together with the temperance card hold off get your facts straight you need to ask them about their future ask them about their future ask them about their future and make sure that what it is that they want is the same thing that you want and there's no compromising whatever it is you want your life to look like if it doesn't match what someone else wants their life to look like at least like 75 percent then why would you even ever <clears throat> this is where the conflict and the defeat come in okay this is what taurus has to work out taurus has to work this out king of wands i don't know man in the past you really weren't a king of pentacles and i'm just not down for the unsettled energy of a king of wands um i am a taurus i quite frankly really really don't want to be with someone who is constantly trying to conquer other things who's constantly unsettled they just want to they, they just want to go right they just want to go i mean look at the difference between these two right here right so we got this fire energy king of wands he's looking out into the horizon right and he's surveying what it is with the little spring stick in his hand right there right he's surveying what it is that he can achieve next 
and the king of pentacles is staring at his immediate surroundings, right? And he's like, I don't have to go out conquering because I have things brought to me, <laughs> right? <laughs> so two very different kind of people here, right? This one is trying to be a king of pentacles, but this one is the one that you remember from the past, the one that gave you such a hard burden and struggle. The tower in reverse, wondering if you should just avert disaster all the way around, eight of cups in reverse, and walk a, the, a, the hell away from this. Five of cups in reverse, just move on. Or queen of pentacles, do I, do, is this real? Is this something that is good for me? Is this something that is in my best interest? To the Seven of Pentacles. And that's what you got to figure out. That's what you got to figure out. Prosperity begins with the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Two of Cups. Spiritual union. Prosperity begins spiritual union. Boom. Seven of Swords. Deception and Envy right? What is it about whatever happened with this person in the past that's got you so, so, so um, triggered? Triggered. That's what you are here, Taurus. You're triggered. Chariot, the Six of Cups. Look at that. You just triggered. I think I'm going to call this reading triggered. Yep. Challenge. Tell me one more about this. Queen of Cups. Interesting. And just one more, please. Just one more. I know I'm meddling now, but just one more. One more. A little bit more details. Just one more. King of Swords in reverse, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. So you don't trust this person. You don't trust this person at all. Not at all. And they're coming back and laying it down hard on the line for you. They're like, Taurus, let's do this. Taurus, let's do this. Look what I just say, right? Coming to you in a, in a different way. Interesting. The universe, closure of one cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. To strength, power, strength, interesting. Tell me about strength and the universe, please. Prince of Swords in reverse, right? Being confused, being confused, Woo -wee. being confused, reevaluating the whole thing, taking a step back, getting a new perspective in the hangman energy, and Five of Cups in reverse, moving on, moving on to the Wheel of Fortune and into a brand new turning point. Um, let's look at what your advice is here, because there's a whole lot of shoulda, coulda, maybes, would it work? Do I need to let go of the past? Well, let's just look and see what it is exactly. Let's take all these clarifying cards. We'll get all the details out the way, and we'll just read the basic spread and try to get you some straight up information, okay? We'll get you some straight up information. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me get myself together here. Okay. All right. So, bottom of the deck, four of wands, peace, contentment, harmony, foundations, achievements, victory, and success. Okay. So, victory, progress, success, truth. Some truth is spoken that creates a massive transformation in some kind of very significant relationship. Triumphant success. You now know and understand things that you didn't understand before, okay? Material harvest. This puts you in a position to give and receive and share in the prosperity of life in this love relationship because something tremendous has transformed. Three of Pentacles, recognition and reward, right? Someone is coming to you and vindicating the whole situation and it makes everything better. Renewal, I'm sorry, uh, uh, reuniting, okay? Rejoicing and celebration, meeting up, reuniting. 
emotional withdrawal, but you have a little bit of a little bit of a hesitation here, right? A little bit of a hesitation. Temperance says, temper yourself, temper yourself, temper yourself. Your mind says, but the conflict and the defeat from the past, the conflict and the defeat from the past. But this could be a really good opportunity. There's an opportunity here to restart this relationship. But I am so caught up in what went on previously that I'm not really sure I want to engage in this. Deception and envy, right? What went on in the past? The universe says close this cycle out and start a new cycle. And power comes on top of it and says strength, courage. Have courage to do what's in your best interest. What are the major arcana here? Well, we have judgment, transformation, the lovers. Judgment, transformation, the lovers. Patience. The world, courage, right? Yeah. So lessons, spiritual advice, truth, own your truth, right? Own your truth all the time. Own your truth. Own your truth. Own your truth. Your truth will set you free. There's truth being spoken to you. What's being spoken to you is truth. Transformation. This truth is going to create a massive, massive transformation into or of a, an extremely significant relationship in your life. Be tempered. Don't let your mind get the best of you. Don't let your panic get the best of you. Be tempered. The universe says it's time for this cycle of your life to open. Old cycle closes, the new cycle opens. Strength. You have possibly overcome a lot to be able to engage in this kind of a relationship, but you definitely have the strength and the courage to engage in this relationship. So you make the decision, dear Taurus, if this is positive affirmation or not, because I'm not going to tell you either way, but if you would like your cards read about the situation, I can be a lot more direct. You can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. I hope this helps someone. Namaste.